This is a little more complex example using the electric imp. What I'm going to do here is log into Salesforce and associate the imp device with a specific user. So to do this, my agent will redirect to Salesforce to do OAuth login. And when Salesforce uh, sends the control back to the agent, it's going to post off the authorization code it received and get back uh, some OAuth uh, data, including the access token that we need to interact with APIs. In my device, I'm uh, periodically sending all the data from this nine degrees of freedom chip. So I get accelerometer, magnetometer, and gyroscope data. And I'm also um, setting timeouts, uh, interrupts rather here, uh, that if the uh, electric imp device, this uh, nine degrees of freedom chip, gets a tap of uh, 1.5 G or more, it's going to uh, file an, uh, transmit an impact event to the agent. Okay, let's just clear our logs here. We're starting from scratch and let's go to the agent URL. So what happens here, I'm already, already logged into Salesforce in this browser and Electric Imp is requesting permission to access my information, and access my data. So I'm going to let that happen. Say allow. Authentication is complete. I can close the window. That's good. And over here we can see that um, I received an access token and I saved that configuration. So now each time the agent starts, um, it can uh, exchange a uh, refresh token, the OAuth refresh token, and get a fresh access token to access APIs. And we can see that, in fact, the device has already logged some data. The, we can see the agent here has uh, passed up this data to Salesforce and created a reading record. So uh, let's go have a look. So here's today's readings. If I just refresh here, great, I can see that um, I've got a reading logged here, it's got temperature of 24 and I've got all this lovely data for uh, acceleration, uh, gyroscope and uh, magnetic field in three dimensions. It's uh, really pretty cool. Now this will carry on uh, logging uh, these readings every uh, 60 seconds I think. Let's have a look. Yes, it will wake up every 60 seconds and uh, do another reading. But also it's got that interrupt. So what should happen is if I tap the chip with my pen, let's see if I can do it just right here. There we go. Detected an impact on the device and we created a case. So if we go have a look at the uh, cases over here and refresh, we can see that there was an impact event. And if we go here, um, we can see some details on the on the impact in the uh, in the case detail so uh, pretty cool we can um, periodically log data we can uh, detect uh, interrupts from devices and we can do all of that in the context of a specific user so this data is being logged if I go into one of the readings I should have uh, another one by now if I go into this reading I can see that indeed um, it was created by me because I was a logged in user uh, that uh, authorized Electric Imp for this particular device to access APIs on my behalf. So this is this corresponds to maybe like a, a wearable use case. I might be monitoring, in fact, my own temperature uh, every 60 seconds or my heart rate or whatever. So there you have it. More fun with the Electric Imp. Thanks for watching.